All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to measure titratable acidity in juice or wine in a basic winery lab. So, got a juice sample. This is Chardonnay juice, not very ripe. TA is gonna be quite high. Little flask. Got a pipette to accurately deliver five milliliters. It's important that this is quantitative, so the calculations work at the end. Phenothaline, 1%, that's the colorimetric indicator. A little bit of water, deionized, that's important. And then in the burette here that we're gonna deliver into the sample, we have sodium hydroxide, 0.1 normal, that's the concentration. It's important for these calculations. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pet, deliver five millimeters, five milliliters, Juice sample. Into the flask. Then I'm gonna add some water, again, deionized, just to increase the volume of the sample here. It makes it easier for to do this whole operation. A couple drops of this phenothaline indicator. I'm just gonna turn pink. The pH gets to 8.2, that's the end point. I know from prior measurements, this juice is starting at a pH of about 2.9, quite unright. Okay, so come up here to the burette, and we are starting at 10.5 milliliters. Make sure I write that down. That's the one thing I mess up the most, forgetting to write that down. Okay, now I'm gonna scoot this in, so. See this color mesh reaction. So I'm going to open this valve and start delivering the sodium hydroxide down into the juice sample. And you can see there's a bit of a color change there. It's turning pink. I don't know how well that comes through in the video, but this the pH of the juice is constantly increasing as we're adding the sodium hydroxide. We're shooting for pH 8.2. That's when everything is going to turn pink and remain pink. Right now, you can see if I turn off this, the pink goes away, that base is consumed. So we're gonna continue this, maybe go a little bit slower until this all turns and remains pink. The pink persists longer and longer as we get closer. Okay, pink color's persisting. So we're done, now we come back to the burette to measure how much sodium hydroxide was delivered. The final reading is 21.2. Okay, here's how things are calculated based on using 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide and five milliliters of juice sample. Burette started at 10.5 milliliters, ended at 21.2. So we're going to take that delta. 21.2 minus 10.5 equals 10.7 milliliters. We're going to multiply that 10.7 by 1.5. And that is going to tell us grams per liter RTA. 16.05. So we're going to round that up to 16.1 grams per liter TA. Keep in mind, in the U.S., we measure titratable acidity in tartaric acid equivalents. In Europe, it's different. It's sulfuric acid equivalents, so they are not one-to-one. -one. All right, there we go. Easy peasy.